What's up guys, this is Steve, Android at Night. Now unless you've been living under a rock for the last couple of days, you probably know about the big iCloud hacking. Jennifer Lawrence, among a whole group of other predominantly female, in fact I think maybe all female celebrities, got a load of their nudes hacked. And obviously this raises a couple of questions. First is obviously this moral issue and it's interesting to see how people have been reacting. When you think how people react to when the NSA hacks data, Compared to this, I've seen a lot of people reposting them. I haven't actually seen them, I have no desire to see them. I'm sure she looks fantastic naked, but um, considering how these pictures have been acquired, it's um, definitely creepy and um, probably a lot worse. People who are looking at these and then complain about the NSA, you're being fairly hypocritical. Of course, the other issue it raises is the safety of your stuff when it's in cloud storage. This was iCloud, it wasn't anything to do with Android, so 1-0. I'm just gonna show you how you can make sure this doesn't happen to you. You can secure all your data and more, so enjoy. So the first app we're gonna look at is called Androgneto, and this is one that's been making the rounds on forums and websites and stuff as one of the best apps to secure your data. Now I kind of agree, but there are a couple of elements with this that make it um, not unusable in certain use cases, but definitely geared towards a certain sort of user. As far as encryption goes, this is one of the strongest. To hide something, you long press it and you get a tick, and then you can then tap on other ones if you want. Then you press this icon here with the little padlock, you get the three tier full encryption. And then if you hit the flash icon, it's not as secure, but it's a lot quicker. And that speed is kind of key um, with Android Nito. If you go back across to the files that you've hidden, you can see here you get the name of the file and there's no preview, it's blanked out, which is good. I like the added security for that. But the thing is then, if you want to actually watch any of these or look at them, you have to long press on them and then you have to unhide them which is fine, except you have to do this every time you want to see the media. So if it's something you actually want to see or use, um, it's a pretty useless system. You can also hit here to add it to favorites, but again, this is sort of unnecessary because as soon as you unhide it to view it, it'll disappear from your favorites. If you could pin the files in a format that meant you could then unhide them, but they'd still stay here as a shortcut, that would be kind of useful. But at the moment, if you want to quickly access stuff, it's not that great. So saying that, it's got some pretty cool other settings. It's got Vault spoofing, which actually set up a fake password. And this means that if someone's trying to guess it, or they see that it's on your phone, and they say, ha, I've seen you got this Vault app, show me what's in it, you can key in the fake code, and then you can populate that with whatever rubbish you want, or just leave it empty. There's also this invisible mode, which hides the app icon from the launcher. And then to actually open it, you need to go into a dialer and dial asterisk, hashtag, your pin, hashtag, asterisk. This works quite well, except that then that then appears in your call log and you can delete it, but it means that every single time you do it, you then need to delete it, which is a little bit of a hassle, but saying that it is that nice little extra bit of security. You can also change your pin. Unfortunately, the only security you've got is a four digit pin. So it's up to you to decide how safe that is. One thing that's a little bit weird with it is if you go into the task switcher mode and then jump back into it, most of the time it locks you out, but as you can see then, it sometimes doesn't, which means that if it is in your task manager, people can open it without your pin code occasionally. Um, I think this is a bug because it's still in beta and they really need to fix it and it is slightly irritating, but if you are using it, just make sure that you actually kill it after you've, after you've closed it. Another cool feature of this is when you uninstall it, if you don't delete the files from your SD card, you can't view them, but then if you reinstall Android Nito, you can then actually view the files again, you can restore them. So although it's a little bit cumbersome to use if you want to quickly access the files, if you're just hiding them and just want to hide them, this is pretty good, it's got a really nice interface and the encryption is a really high level. Next up we've got Vaulty, this is a little bit more versatile as far as actually using it as a gallery app. So if you're hiding stuff you want to be able to see quickly, this one is much quicker. If you hit up here, it shows you all your media and you have the option to just long press, and then you can hit up here or you can select all to hide them. Then once they're hidden, they appear in this folder here and you can go straight into them. So for example, we got all the files that I had hidden before, but you can actually view them. So we got that one, and then we got that one, Tom being saucy, pretty dirty stuff. And then we've got this video. So you can see it works really nicely if you actually want to look. So this works pretty nicely if you actually want to be able to use the media. It's the exact reverse if you want to unhide stuff. Another cool thing it's got is a camera built straight into the app, so if you want to take a picture or a video you can. This means if you're using a service like Google Plus or Dropbox Backup, it won't be up in that cloud storage, it will be straight saved into Vaulty and nowhere else on your phone. This is kind of important, if you want to hide stuff, you need to remember that if you've got auto backup things installed on your phone, they are going to be in different locations like Dropbox or Google Drive or wherever you back them up to. That's probably okay because it's probably only you who's got the password, but you want to be careful if you really are using sort of sensitive files that you don't want people to find. 
um, just exactly where they're going. So this is a nice way to make sure it's actually just straight on your device. And another cool thing this does is when you put the passcode in, if someone puts it in wrong, it'll take a photo of them with a front-facing camera, which is really useful, just lets you know who's been snooping on your phone. There is also a cloud storage option for this. You do have to pay for it, but it just means everything is backed up in the cloud. If you lose the application, you can reinstall it, you can re-download it, you can move files from device to device. So if you're looking for a bit more flexibility as well as security, Vaulty is a pretty good option. The other cool thing is your pin can be longer than four digits long, so it's slightly more secure than Android Neto. This also has the alternate vault function, so you can make another vault, change it to a different pin code, and then again, if people ask to see it or something like that, you can go into that one instead. The third app is called Hide Secrets. I have to say it's not the subtlest of names. Android Neto and Vaulty aren't particularly subtle, but Hidden Secret is kind of ridiculous. The interface on this is different, but I actually really like it. And the main thing about this is you can hide things other than just photos and videos. So you can see you can hide contacts, you can hide text messages. In the free version, you can hide up to 100 text messages, and then in the pro version, you get unlimited. You can also lock applications and hide them. And then obviously you've got images, music, videos, files, and then notes, which is a really interesting thing which lets you save bank details, credit cards, um, email addresses and other random notes secretly into this app, which is pretty cool. So as I said, in the premium mode you can have unlimited SMS. You also get an invisible mode which hides the icon. A bit like Android Neto, you have to call your PIN number in order to open the app. It also stops people being able to uninstall it from your phone. Then you also get the fake PIN option which you get in the other two apps which just gives you a fake vault. This one, however, you can't actually populate with other stuff, it just stays empty. It also has this really interesting feature which lets you set a pin, a password and a pattern. In the free version you can choose one of the three. It's a much more secure option than say a four digit pin. And if you can do all three at once, that's sort of maximum security. It also means you can lock as many applications as you want. To add stuff to this, you just hit down here. It's a nice material style UI. Make a new folder. I'm going to call it example. And there we go. We'll then go into it and hit the add button. Go into camera. And we're just going to add some random files. You can also select all. So I think to be honest these are all going to depend on your use case. If you just want to hide stuff um, and just leave it alone then Android Neto is probably the most secure. Though in fact if you want the most secure setup you want to install Android Neto then what you want to do is go into this app, go into the contact section and add the dial code that opens up Android Neto into here. This will mean it doesn't show up as a contact and it won't show up on your missed call log. This is obviously a really useful feature as well if you've got anyone that you don't want people to know you've been communicating with but this is a way of using it to add another layer of security to another app. If you want to be able to access the files relatively quickly, Hide Secrets and Vaulty are definitely the best. Both are good in different ways. I love the fact that Vaulty has the ability to take a photo of someone snooping, but I also love the fact you can hide more stuff using Hide Secrets. I think the app lock is great, and the ability to hide notes um, with bank details and stuff like that is really, really cool. My final tip then for this is if you're looking to delete stuff off your device, say you're giving it to a sibling or um, your mom or your dad or something, or you want to sell it online and you want to make sure no one can get your data, if you go into the security option in your settings, there's an option to encrypt. If you encrypt your phone, which can take anywhere from half an hour to an hour or so, depending on how much stuff you've got on it, then you delete everything. It means that you can't use recovery apps to actually scramble the deleted data and sort of reassimilate it into files. It's not the hardest thing in the world to do. If you wipe your phone just doing a normal factory reset, there is programs you can use, especially on like Linux and Mint and Ubuntu and stuff. That just means you can reassimilate all that data and view the stuff that you thought was deleted. This is just an extra safety net just to make sure you've deleted it. And obviously, once you've factory resetted, if you've got a memory card or anything like that in your phone, if your phone accepts SD cards, make sure you don't send that with it. Or if you are, make sure you wipe that and reformat that a few times as well to make sure people can't swipe it for data. But with all that, you should be able to stay pretty safe. I hope you enjoyed that, guys. With this, you should be able to sway the odds in your favour so people aren't going to be able to find anything that you don't want them to find. Please like this video if you've enjoyed it and please also subscribe if you haven't seen me before. I've got loads of new stuff coming out and the more subscribers I get, the more motivation I get um, and just the more content I can produce for you guys. You can follow me on all my social media things in the links in the description. I am wearing the shirt um, to try and match the new, uh, the new icon on my channel. Comment below to let me know how you like the new channel design and the new avatar and if there's anything else you want to see. And until next time, peace.